myself um I treated myself to this I never treat myself in ways that I feel like is treating treat yourself in like a parks and rec way I never do it like I'll spend money on food like it's free money but buy something that is actually um more than that is another thing this was released last week. Can you guess what it is yet? No, he's cancelled. I didn't even know this was coming. This was a surprise release. 10 points for whoever guesses this right. You know what song I've got in my head? La Last Ketchup. I said a hair, a ha, a hair. It's in it and it's in it's in it. I said a hair. So this was released last week. 600, only 600 has gone into production. And I needed it because it's my favourite colour. I wanted to like mark this glow up I've had on YouTube with something tangible rather than just edible. I said a hair, stop it. Oh no, am I gonna do this? This is actually quite heavy. So it's a collaboration with a designer. It's Mathmos, who do lava lamps. It's a studio, uh, Studio Sabine Marcellus collaboration and it's freaking gorgeous. Okay, I'll get the bottle out for you. I said a hair, aha. You can't see it properly, but it's matte. It's matte and it looks like limoncello. <laughs> it's so cool. And wait, you know what? I'm just gonna put a picture here of what it looks like. This is what it looks like because um, I'm not gonna set it up here. I'm gonna do it at home properly. So for those of you who don't know or are new to the channel, which is many of you, I have been obsessed with lava lamps since I was about 15. Now this one here um, is the office one now, but I've had this since I was 15. And um, <laughs> so that's a couple of years, 27 years, oh no, 22 years. 16, 21 years, 16. Sorry, I watched um, In Between Us the other day. 16, mum buys his trousers, 16. And I wonder why I've had 10 comments about ADHD in the last day. Um, Yeah, I freaking love lava lamps. That's a good sticker. I said, hey, ha, hey, 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 it's Friday the 13th, dun dun dun, and I've been wearing this t-shirt for like five days. <laughs> Whenever I work here all the time and mum and dad are away, I just go into like survival mode where I don't need anything nutritious, even more so than normal. It's just mad, it's just there's so much work to do. If it was just the business, this is not me complaining, this is just me sharing. I work full time doing the villa business. And obviously now I've got you lot to keep happy. So uh, that's only a joke. <laughs> oh God, I love these new, <sighs> these new screensavers. They're just so beautiful. I was laughing to myself yesterday because there's so many gorgeous new screensavers on the new Mac Sonoma update. And I was like, I can't choose. This just shows my level of like fear of commitment. Hence why I've never got a tattoo. <laughs> and I'm single. <laughs> I couldn't choose. I couldn't choose a screensaver because I was like, this all so pretty. And then I chose the option to like shuffle them every 12 hours. I'm like, that's okay. I've got coffee. I feel like today I need to be more intuitive with my body, with my eating. Because at the moment, because I'm just working so much, I'm not listening to hunger signals or I'm overly hungry by the time I eat. And then I overeat because I'm, a, I'm over hungry. But today I just feel bloated and I just don't feel great. So when I am hungry, I wanna make some eggs 
with some mushrooms and spinach to actually get some greens inside of me. Here we have lunch, brunch, no idea what time it is. So we have spinach, mushrooms, egg, and I've overcooked my eggs. I've really overcooked my eggs. Oh well, on toast. It looks grim, but nutrients. Seaside. We're at the seaside. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's lovely. Seaside. Haven't found any sea glass yet. But uh, yeah, search continues. Maggie knows that she gets a prize if she finds a bit of sea glass. She doesn't know yet that the prize is a bit of sea glass. <laughs> <laughs> We've now come to Minster Beach uh, because there was no sea glass at the other one and uh, Maggie's having a lesson in sea glass finding which she is really happy about. <laughs> she found her first bit! Yay! Well done! How does it feel? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I just found! Blue! I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, last night I was so sleepy. I slept here all night from like, I think I fell asleep about half 10 till half nine today. <laughs> 11 hours on the sofa like literally like this obviously not with my laptop there but I mean I have slept with my laptop on my lap before I was so sleepy because the sea air really takes it out of you so we yesterday we went to Sheerness no sorry Shellness Beach first which is about a two hour drive from me and then to Minster yeah and then the traffic coming back was horrendous so yeah that mixed with the sea air just zonk I am probably gonna go back to mine today which is quite exciting because i haven't been at mine now in over a week and a half mum and dad are still away hence why i film every single day in this position it's so weird i put some screen wash in my car a couple of weeks ago because you know that you can fill up your screen wash from the place where you fill up your tires with air at the garage to like save save plastic put it straight into the screen wash hole in your car and it's actually a really good idea to have a spare bottle because you always get more I always get more than my 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 hole <laughs> my, the screen wash tank can hold so I always get about a whole tank and then half of a old screen wash bottle so if you haven't done it before it's really good for like um, saving the community but the one that I get the reason why I'm saying all this is because I got screen wash from Tesco a, a couple of weeks ago and it smells like it smells minty but it's it doesn't just smell minty it smells like the dentist so, you know, I went to the dentist not long ago. They don't give you mint mouthwash anymore. They just give me water whenever I go. So I'm like, have they just bought all of like the excess minty <laughs> dentist juice that the dentists aren't allowed to use anymore? So if you are a dentist, please let me know if Sainsbury's have struck up a deal with you guys because <laughs> Sainsbury's, did I just say Sainsbury's? Tesco, hot damn. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Wow, three planes in the sky. Sun's out, gun's out. There was a guy with his guns out. <laughs> I 
yeah it was so lovely to be by the sea and to take maggie as well it's such a good day i'm not even wearing a bra <laughs> it's just like it's too much of a good mood to put on any sort of restrictive clothing sun's out boobs out <laughs> oh that just reminded me of my dream <laughs> oh my god one way to know if your string of pearls needs watering is if the pearls go wrinkly these have like shrunk it's gonna like soak them sit and uh, suck it all in. <laughs> I am home. It's so nice to be home. It's cold. It's freaking cold. Oh, it's probably because I've got the windows open. Uh, yeah, it's cold. I need to put this washing away, which has been there for two weeks. <laughs> well, I haven't been here for a week, but I need to put it away. I need to water some plants. I really want to set up my lava lamp, but I want to do it when it's dark. I might not do it today because I might go back to mum's. Uh, I've just picked up my prescription. I needed to pick up. The cute pharmacist was there. He's got a lovely smile. He didn't serve me, but he was like, he normally works weekends and late nights. And he was like, hey, and I was like, hi. <laughs> um, I don't actually think I've spoken about him on the channel before. But he's nice because the other pharmacists there are just like, meh. And he just has this beautiful, like, smile that just lights up and it always makes me feel... Because I don't really like pharmacies. I mean, who does? Yeah, literally just sat here with my leg up thinking what I need to do in my life today. I want to be outside. Yesterday in the sun with the sea has just given me some let's go outside vibes. So let's talk real talk. Right, I've put a pause in here because you're going to get a trigger warning. If you do not like seeing mess and disgusting washing up, please fast forward to this timestamp here uh, where I'm going to have a lovely walk in the park. But for those of you who want to see the reality of my life and my decisions, please stay watching. Okay, thanks. Love you all. Bye. So I'm posting about this because a friend of mine, she just posted about the fact that she was... Um, coming out of a stint of not feeling good and she'd changed her sheets for the first time in months. And I relate to that so much and I was just really grateful that she posted that because it makes me feel that I'm not alone in certain things that I do. And one of my banes of my life, I still haven't done that, is the washing up. <laughs> now... I have, I left my mum's a week and a half ago, not doing the washing up. I left tomatoes out on the side. I mean, some of you might have your stomach turned by this, but I think a lot of, oh my God, I've just seen a lemon that I forgot to use. A lot of you hopefully will resonate with this. So I thought today we could sort it out together. Look at the lemon. Poor thing. Poor, poor thing. So, <clears throat> all of my... All of my recycling slash rubbish is still here. There's mould. There's mould. And we're going to sort it the hell out. Oh, the grate is in the drawer. Used. And I've been thinking about it all week. I was like, I haven't done the washing up at mine. I haven't done the washing up. And I left freaking water in there. <sighs> We're here now. And now I'm like, why am I sort of doing this now when I could be out in the sunshine? Let's blitz it. You know what it is that overwhelms me? It's having to separate things between food waste, recycling and bin. And I know that's so important and I try and do it as much as possible. But at the moment, I haven't got any recyclable food bags. So therefore, I'm like, well, I'll just leave it until I get that. 
but then I don't have, oh, and it just, because I can't do it the proper way, I'm like, well, I don't just want to put it all in the bin because I want to like do my best for the environment. And then that's what stops me. Yeah, that makes sense to me in my head. And I don't have any washing up gloves because mine are disgusting. The reality of this disgusting sink. My hands are like <laughs> boiling hot, red, because, uh, <clears throat> but I did it. I'm not putting it away. Screw that. <laughs> I've done it. So here's just a note to you. If you're struggling with things that make, that the world makes seem like are easy and normal and should be automatically done, you are not alone. You are not alone. gorgeous but I don't like it. <laughs> okay I told myself that I was going to come to this park so that I could walk up to this hill and sit on this bench so that's what we're going to do. I made it up here and there's one out of the three branches I've realized where my motivation came from earlier at my house because I did all the washing up here earlier. So yeah, two lots of washing up done. In one day, I just made myself a lovely cup of tea. My, one of my annual cups of tea. I have about five a year, which is, different today because I've had two today. It's cold, I just put the bins out and I could see my breath, it was so cold, which is ridiculous. Okay, let's do this in, let's do this in two trips because I'm gonna trip. Great, there's sick, cat sick. Another day, another terrible Christmas film. This one is called Coming home for Christmas. 
watching. You think so? I know so. You know what really winds me up? When you get medication that is meant to be taken daily, especially something like antidepressants or something like that, why, oh why, do they not have days of the week? I know quite a lot of the brands do, but some of the brands don't and it's just, what is the point? So then I need to go and write M-T-W-T-F-S-S -S on them. Right, my video came out this evening, so I am going to go and sit and respond to all the lovely comments. Yay! I think this is going to be the best present he's ever gotten. So guys, when Lizzie gets back, we're going to make some necklaces for your mom using some beads we found your great-grandma sewing kit. Oh. <clears throat> Hi, back in the same spot. <laughs> Mid-October, yeah? And yesterday it was so beautiful and sunny, as you saw. Today, this morning, it's two degrees and all the cars are frosted up and there's frost all over the roofs and it's freaking freezing. Oh, do you want to see my, my screensaver for today? Isn't it gorgeous? And I've woken up like really <clears throat> and I've woken up like really itchy eyes and bunged up. So I've got freaking hay fever and there's frost outside. How does that even work out? <laughs> I'm up early today um, because I want to go out for a walk at some point. I'm making that promise to you. I know I just said the P word, but I'm already f f feigning. <laughs> Oh God, Kilo. You're purring away. You're purring away. I'm doing it. I'm on my walk. I literally started talking and then uh, some people <laughs> were walking towards me. And I was just about to say, I'm not even wearing a bra or socks. <laughs> Cause this is real life. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna walk on the other side of the road. So I'm in the sun. I've done a nice little lap. I don't have to think about not doing enough because this is this is good today I think that's what so many of us including myself do is that when you want to start something you push yourself and you go too much then it puts you off so and also it said it was going to be cloudy all day so I saw this and I was like right let's get out oh there was a, a lost cat and they came round to mum and dad's house ages ago to see if they'd seen it. I hope they found him.
Yum, I think. Oh, that looks like a good egg. Oh. Yes. This day is uh, going quickly. Oh yeah, I need to email her. Um, yeah, I painted my nails. <laughs> this is actually a really nice colour. It is, I think it's It's going to be really, really old. Maybelline All Day Plum. And it's like a super stay, seven days. Yeah, nice little Halloween-y colour. Can you remember the other day when I was driving and I said, Mango Pepsi Max. Mango Pepsi Max. No. There's me thinking, is it April Fool's? No, it's September. I found it. Not sponsored. Um, I actually found it the other day and then I dropped it. So I don't really want to open it. Oh. <laughs> that was a bit anticlimactic, wasn't it? Oh, okay. It tastes like Skittles. I think one of you said that to me, it tastes like Skittles. Yeah, it tastes like you've put all the Skittles together and shoved them into your mouth. It tastes like that. Oh, I mean, it's not replacing Cherry Pepsi Max, but it's, it's pretty damn good. I didn't expect to like it. I got this in a M&S garage, just in case you are interested. Mmm. Right, back to work. So, I've just seen that Frasier is back. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and I don't know how to feel about it because I think that, what's his name? Kelsey Grandma is the only original character. And if that's the case, what's the freaking point? I saw that it got really good reviews on Facebook though, because generally people on Facebook are just like waiting to slay everything. But yeah, all of the reviews were positive. So if you have seen the new Frasier on Paramount, please tell me. And I don't have Paramount, but if you have Paramount and you want to share your um, login with me, please just message it to me on Instagram. Thanks. <laughs> I will also add, hours later, that if you asked me to taste this and said, what fruit is it? I don't think I'd ever guess mango. <laughs> So there's also that. Morning. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear this, but go and have a shower after this or a bath or whatever you want because I just had a shower and I feel like a new woman and it's amazing. I've also taken some of my mum's Kiehl's oil. Daily revitalizing concentrate. I was having a shower and it, the sun started coming in and I was like, ah! Oh. by clicking the forgotten your passcode link. For security reasons, we need to send you this in the post. If you've forgotten your memorable word, to reset this, you will need to order a new passcode first. You won't need your memorable word to log in as long as you have a pin sentry card reader or mobile pin sentry. Our live secure chat is available in our app if you still require further support. So I'm 
doing my same walk as yesterday. It's a bit of a hill. Well, it's kind of like... Yeah. I'm taking it slowly. So it's grocery time, shopping. Why do I say grocery? Uh, it's shopping time. So let's do a little Hawley haul. Hawley and Glazius. We have got fruit and fiber. Love corn. I love these. They're so good. Salt and vinegar flavor. I got this. Tony's. I've never tried this before, but I keep hearing about everybody going mad about it. So. I got some. Uh, some Tilda ready rice because it's just quick. Bumper pack of washing up. Oh, they smell good. Um, washing up pods. Vanish Oxy Action. To be honest, I thought that was a bigger pack than that. Mushrooms. Portobellini. Oh my God, that's a tiny pouch. I, th <laughs> I thought that was going to be so much bigger. Young spinach, not to be confused with baby spinach. Two little pork pies, smoked salmon, some apples, avocado, cucumber, sun dried tomatoes, and mozzarella. I'm going to do like a pastry thing, and I'm also going to use some spicy arabiata because Amy's coming over tonight. And I'm going to make her some dinner with those two. Oh, more salad. Rosa Verde salad. Celery to make me eat celery. What, is, what have I ordered? <clears throat> Tropicana with bits. Chicken wings for a quick lunch with a salad. Philadelphia cream cheese. Oranges. Milk. Bananas. And bread. So these apples, they are the Kissabelle ones. They've got red inside. So this is my little lunch. I've got a pork pie, an apple, some celery, and I've just got some dip. So like some guacamole, sour cream and chive. So it's a picky lunch. Oh. Was a good stretch i've been sitting have you been sitting in bed all day i've been sitting there for hours hours and hours and i'm cold <laughs> but this is the stupid thing so i'm just itching my belly um this is the only hoodie i've bought to my parents house i can't wash it because i need it because <laughs> it's cold you coming for some food hi This was reduced because I think these are like four fifty a bar. So it's dark chocolate sea salt almond. Mm. I mean it's chocolate. I think it's a bit too cold, so I think I need to leave it out of the fridge. Eddie's 
<laughs> right now it's about 500 more than I pay to get you back. Right, Mike. Yeah, I said I was sorry. Cereal's going oh, soggy. You've got to come back for cuddles later. Didn't you go back? To the park! How mad is this? You can now, I don't know if this is even in focus. I'm on Amazon looking at Crocs because I'm the height of fashion. And you can try them on your actual feet. <laughs> like, <laughs> how mad is that? So you can like change the colour. Hey, morning. I haven't vlogged for like three days. Um, I'm still obviously at my parents' house. I had a dream that the cats caught a bird and it was all over the kitchen. Oh, we're good, they're good. You didn't catch a bird, yay. Good boy. Oh, that's lovely. I think you were dreaming about catching birds though, weren't you? <laughs> and we've got you, are you gonna let me stroke? No, you're not. Are you gonna let me stroke you? <gasps> yeah, you are. Hey gorgeous girl. So today is the day that my parents are coming home. I need to clear up. <laughs> wash up, do the washing, uh, not washing, do take out the recycling. <sighs> I don't have to be at Luton Airport until 9 p.m. so I've got ages. But you know when you're worried about something like, I just need to get the house ready sooner rather than later, otherwise I'm just gonna be like, <laughs> am I gonna get it done in time? Yes, of course I will. It's been raining for like two days. We had frost, I think I told you. We had frost like two days ago and mum and dad are like in 30 degree heat. <laughs> so it's gonna be a shock for them to come back to like apocalypse. Oh, here you are. Somebody's already on the, on the radiator. So let me update you with what happened yesterday. Um, I had a brainwave. I was like, I want to go away for New Year, like on my own, just find somewhere and just escape for a few days. So I was searching, searching, searching on Airbnb, found this gorgeous little cottage in Scotland. And I was like, this is the one. And you know how when you book something online, it takes you a while because you're like gearing up to book it, especially being on my own. I was like, where can the murderers hide? Can someone see me when I'm sleeping at night from outside? All this stuff. So, <laughs> you know, the normal, the normal thoughts. Um, and I finally booked it and I was like, yes, right. This is, ah, this is good value, whatever. And then she messaged me and she was like, I'm so sorry. It's not available. Uh, Airbnb keeps making these dates free, but we're actually staying there. So please, can you cancel it? So I went and bloody, bloody cancelled it. And she was like, I can open up some time in, in January. I was like, no. So then yesterday, last night, I must have looked at hundreds of listings. I literally finished work at like 6 p.m., came downstairs, sat here until 1, 1 a.m., didn't move, didn't eat dinner. <laughs> hyper fixated on finding an Airbnb. I must have looked at hundreds, hundreds and hundreds, but none of them feel, felt right. No, that's that's not true. I've actually booked another one. I booked one because it was Cumbria. The views are insane, but I, it, the place just didn't feel right. So I canceled it. Luckily got all my money back. So we the search continues. I, I'm, I'm thinking about going abroad, but then you've got to factor in the price of flights, 
car hire possibly, possibly driving on the other side of the road. It's all just a lot. I mean, I could, I could go to Cyprus. No, no. Um, I want somewhere where I'm invisible. Yeah, because, you know, I might be doing Vlogmas, so therefore I need to recoup somewhere, don't I? Um, yeah, so the search continues. My issue is the issue that so many people have on these location, location, location programs. My budget and my ideas are not the same. <laughs> the budget is here and the ideas are here. So why? All I want is, you know, what is a big thing for me in the views, the views with a big window that I can actually sit and look out at. Um, and so many of these places have tiny windows. Or on Airbnb, they'll show a, obviously, because I'm in the business of property rental. I mean, I feel, think this is like normal for everyone to be annoyed at. But like, they'll show you a zoomed in picture of the potpourri bowl, but they won't show you the view out of the window. You do not deserve my booking. <sighs> Wish me luck. If anyone has a remote cottage with a sea view in Scotland, let me know. <laughs> it's happened again. We've got a vinted. This is a pair of very exciting shoes, which I treated myself to, even though they were a massive bargain, they're still freaking expensive. Da -da 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 -da. Da oh bloody hell, they're heavy. Oh, I didn't even show you. They are, wait, there's someone walking past me. They are a pair of Doc Martens. These are the Sinclair ones. They've got a zip up the front. <laughs> Why did I sniff a shoe? They've only been worn once. She said she's selling them because they made her feel like a giant. And these are, I think, originally 170, and I got them for 70, which I think is a really good deal. The leather doesn't feel as good as I thought it would feel. They kind of feel like pleather. They're size nine because I'm normally a bit over a size eight. We shall see. I also bought another pair of shoes because so those were 70, these were two pounds and they're real leather. Oh, they're cute. They're like a, these boots are made for walking. So we're gonna go home and try these babies on. That's a bargain for two quid for those shoes. Bloody hell. Okay, I am going home. My parents are, where are my keys? Here, my parents are finally home after 12 days, so I am free. Now he, now you're free to check the king. No, Ron, no! He's going to sacrifice himself. Not Hermione. Yo. No, Ron, no! <laughs> Well, that's a mood change, if ever I've heard one. Cisco only had like two songs, didn't he? That one, which, and then like, enter, release the dragon or enter the dragon. Oh, I wonder where is it? Wonder where he is now. Let me see that song, baby. No, what? No, not me. Not Hermione. Yeah. This bit of the road is painted on wrong. 
So I have to go around on the right hand side. Then you're free to check the king. Can you see London in the distance? Canary Wharf? Probably not. It's lava lamp time. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so I got a spare bulb because these bulbs are just really good. I didn't realize, but it's Mathmos who make the lava lamps. It's their 60th birthday and they've done collaborations with six people um, to mark that. And this is one of them. Uh, they're all sold out. This is this sold out in like two days. Um, which makes me really happy that I pulled my finger out and actually bought it. Yeah, I mean, I could save this and keep it pristine in the box and it would be worth a lot of money in a few years, but no, that's not me. Another bulb. Is that two bulbs? Oi, oi. I've got three bulbs. That's excellent news. You have the top. So we've got a, a clear plastic plug. The cord is white fabric and the switch is clear plastic as well oh, oh i'm just so excited <laughs> sexy it's like It's like sand blasted, like sand blow bulb in, because they're special bulbs you can't get just anywhere. There we go. Now for the bottle. I bet you didn't think you'd watch someone go uh, crazy over a lava lamp today <laughs> in 2023. But that's the great thing about them, is they're just so timeless. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> dun. <laughs> forgot to say it. So then this. You know what, actually? I'm going to move my other lava lamp out of the way of this one and put it in pin position. Yeah. Hold. B BRB. Okay, one, two, three. Yay, ooh, that's brighter than I thought it would be. Wow. And it matches my banana. <laughs> I'll give you a shot when she's all warmed up. <laughs> I'm sitting here, I'm, my, I'm sitting here trying to work out how many lava lamp bottles I've got. It's five, it's five. Yellow and green, clear and red, clear and plum, black, blue, and this one, orange, yellow. I always do that. I always get orange and yellow mixed up. Okay, it's time to try on the shoes. This video is all over the place, as always. My camera dies, but they're really comfy. So here they are. We've got a little tassel. <laughs> the minute you walked in the joint, duh, 
I could tell she was a man with distinction, a real big spender. You yeah, know, make a good, make a good catwalk sound. Bargain. Yeah, they've gone a bit around the here. But I mean, I could just fill that in with like black Sharpie. <laughs> just colour it in. Ah, so now the big ones. Oh, all there. Okay. I think I might need some insoles with them. Okay, they're not as heavy on my foot as I thought they'd be. The minute she walked, the minute he walked in the joint, the minute he walked in the joint, she could tell he was a man with distinction, a real big splendor. Right, they're a bit big. Oh, they look bloody cool. <laughs> They feel really good. I might just wear a second pair of socks or get, oh, hi, or get some insoles. So here we have Queen Charlie under the blanket, matching the, uh, matching the lava lamp with uh, a dinner of champions. Can you please run me through what we have? Well, I only have one of these now because <laughs> I've eaten it. We have a sesame bagel. Yep. Biscoff spread. Yep. Banana. Yep. Yeah. You know, one of your five a day. <laughs> Colin, the mummy caterpillar. <laughs> M&M's. Crispy. Crispy M&M's. And uh, I think these are protein, right? Um, <laughs> sour worms. Way. And to drink, we have uh, apple tango, obviously. Happy Friday night. Happy Friday. <laughs> I think I need to turn off the banana for the full effect. <laughs> I've got heartburn after that dinner. <laughs> Who's surprised? Not me. Um, hi, welcome to the end of the video. You've made it. Congratulations. Wait, I'll, I'll, I'll enjoy this after. It's now bedtime. It's now like half 11. Charlie's just gone home. Um, it's really lovely to have this space looking good so that I can actually have my friends around. Like, how cute does this look? It looks good and it's really weird because when I see my studio in videos, it looks so much smaller than it feels. Not that that even matters, but yeah, it's just, it's just really lovely. Um, yeah, so you made it to this part of the video. Please comment three hearts, not one, not two, but three hearts. And next week I'm going to do a giveaway but I'm only gonna mention it very briefly so the real OGs will get a chance that's all I'm gonna say this isn't gonna be a huge flashy thing it's just gonna be a little appreciation so stay tuned for next week I love you lots thank you for all the comments please like share with all your friends no i used to say that i don't say that anymore um my coffee link is below so if you'd like to buy me a coffee i will be so grateful it supports me it supports my channel um yeah thank you so much uh um, <laughs> this is so grim yeah what do i even say i'm delirious i love you lots thank you for watching mm -hmm. bye wait bye